Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In front of you is the new update of the Tech Tunes. And what it is? Uh, why it's so colorful? So we're going to figure it out in the new version of Tech Tunes. So, uh, welcome back everybody. So, um, this uh, update is very powerful uh, and I call it coloring setting. And this setting that almost control like 70% of the user interface in Revit. So, uh, we go going to figure out uh, how powerful it is. So, first of all, uh, I'm, got, I'm going to uh turn off i'm going to an active active those, those things and you can see here the first one is full setting so we can change the phone of it uh, so we can change to any phone you like on your computer so like that it changed uh the the, the phone of it uh, to whatever phone you want the second one is the ribbon setting. So you having so many, so many, so many um, setting, right? So many tabs, and some tab is not reached. You're not going to use it uh, regularly. So you can color it like that. So you can clear it if that no tab is not uh, useful to you, and you not just. Uh, Hide it. You just not um, not highlighting it, and you also can change uh, the style of it to make it different like that. And for some tab, and you have so many edits, you want to hide it. You can uh, yes like that, uh, hide it like that, and you just highlight the most tab that you uh, usually use. That's it. So it. Uh, this one is allowing you to uh, highlight it and also in here it you can change the text colors as well the background color and the text color so that is for the uh, ribbon setting uh, the third one is the panel setting so in the panel setting I'm going to activate it so in here uh, our tab is um, tech tune right so we go into tech tunes like that and you can see in here in that document you can coloring the color of it like that and uh, the background of it uh, like that that's for example or you can reset it to the basic setting of it like that see, you can see you can highlight to the most panel that you, you usually use any other panel you could leave it there um, I'm going to reset the phone setting because it's difficult to see uh, like that all right so you're gonna see uh, so it's really easy to for you so you can switch to the tab that you most use um, the uh, the fourth the last one is the active uh, really the tab setting the tab in here so you can see that that is the different color for a projects for we have the basic projects in here so every time so it's in here you can see uh, this is the review when the review is active which is our uh, we will going to review to have the thumbnail uh, image of the shade or a view or whatever you're showing on this, this content and will display here so you can jump to uh, another view right and you can jump back easily you can see uh, you can uh, switch back to the necessary views easily and you can see the uh, the quick review of it in here so for example this is the family right this family uh, and you walking with the back the font for example like that and you can easily switch to, to the view that 
uh, you most use. And in here, uh, the color of it, the color of it is uh, quite the same to uh, Revit. Let me see. In um, PyRevit, we have tab coloring. It working quite same, but it have the review uh, thumbnails in here. So uh, that is a very powerful update on uh, TechTool, and you can uh, have a try of it in um, the link below if you want to try it and install it and if you already install uh, the tech tune so you can reinstall at the a very same location that you already uh, installed it so uh, and uh, in here i have another update that in the window indoor so now uh, this update are allowing you to work on the main model and also the link model as before you cannot uh, create the window schedule for the link models it's only work on uh, the, the the main model only so in here when you select on the link models and you can track over this is this is the link model that I have linked into this project and in here you can select the template of it uh, the way of targeting if you choose the none tag it will not tag to anything uh, you can tag by text uh, by door and window tag and you can select the tag type that you want to apply it or you can uh, tag by the multiple category tag uh, so in here I'm going to choose this and we uh, select uh, door and window in the link models and you finish so now uh, it's going to create uh, sections and the schedules we know door schedules for the link models it's currently quite slow because I'm opening like three or four uh, re really heavy uh, software at the same time and uh, because I'm working on the laptop not quite strong laptop so it's quite lacking but trust me um, uh, this coloring tab will affect nothing to uh, your models or to um, your processes so you can see here this is the link model. I can click on it. You can see that is uh, the link models. And now this tool can create schedules uh, for the link models. Uh, that is uh, this update. And uh, I have fixed a uh, couple of um, failures, couple of uh, bugs inside the tool. And if you have any feedback or anything you want me to do, uh, so let me know uh, and also uh, if you are interested on this tour and want to uh, support me i will let uh, the link below uh, for uh, the support and also if you the first time seeing this videos and also knowing me through this uh, youtube channel you can uh, click on the subscribe for the support uh, so thank you for watching and uh, you can download this tool is free in the link below so thank you for watching see you in the next videos